This is how I'm watching the election results. I would say in general I'm a fearful person. I'm paranoid about things. For example, today is election day here in the US and before I went to vote this afternoon, I messaged my friend the following. I am so scared for today. I'm paranoid I'm going to fall and hit my head and forget what voting is. I'm scared my hands are going to fall off and I will forget how to read or all my coffee will have vodka in it and I won't know it and I'll get really faced and I won't be able to drive myself to my polling place. And then after I got done voting, I remember thinking, oh my god, what if I was hallucinating that entire time and I accidentally voted for the wrong candidate. I'm not exaggerating. These are things I am legitimately afraid of. I'm not saying it to be funny. I really am that scared of things. I have very, very exact, identifiable behaviors and patterns that I do when I am scared. I either avoid the problem because I get so scared that I go like this, like the opposite of a pufferfish, or I kind of push the fear and end up being more scared and just generally very anxious. That's the relationship I have with horror movies and TV shows. Lately, which is why I think this vlog is relevant because I'm scared today on election day and it's also kind of relevant to Halloween which was a week ago. So for a kind of uh, non-life-threatening example, the show American Horror Story. I tried to watch it during Halloween season because I heard good things about it and I noticed that I have that I fell into a sort of pattern of behaviors in relation to this TV show, which is how I act about pretty much every scary media that there is. So it's daytime, right? It's like 11 o'clock in the morning, the sun is out, and I'm drinking coffee and eating scones, because that's all I do, and I'm like, I really want to watch American Horror Story. I've heard such good things about it. And I start watching it, I'm enjoying it, and I'm not very scared in the moment because there's the sun and look, there's a squirrel and trees. I'm not watching it outside, I just windows. But then it gets dark outside. And I've watched about one episode and it's dark outside and it's time for me to go to bed and I cannot sleep. I am, my bladder almost explodes because I am so scared to get up and go pee in the middle of the night. I'm scared my cat has transformed into some something like that descriptive thing I just described and I can't sleep. Next day, 11 o'clock, scones, coffee, trees, corals, sunlight. Oh, I really want to watch the next episode of American Horror Story. I heard it, you know, I really liked the last one. And then at night, I just get progressively more and more anxious. But the thing is that I like horror, but I don't like how prolonged its effects on me are. And then the reverse pufferfish type of thing is a much more, I guess, problematic thing that I tend to do. Um, and it's taken me a really long, and I think I do it because when I was going through a really rough time about three years ago, that was how I dealt with everything, and it just led to me being really depressed. And so it's taken me all those three years to build up the courage to confront those everyday fears, whether it's taking a calculus exam, or voting, or sending an email, or talking to my friend about something I need to talk to them about. 
those were all things I was very scared of when I was depressed that I could not bring myself to do, but it caused a lot of problems for me. More problems than just being depressed. And so in that way, I have learned that if there's something I'm afraid of, I have to deal with it. But I'm not saying that that is right for everyone because everyone processes stuff differently and I don't want to tell anyone what to do. This is just my experience. But I still kind of have that reaction when tonight I'm watching the election results. And I hope you voted, God damn it, seriously. If you are voting age and you didn't register to vote and you're a US citizen and you did not vote today, I'm very disappointed. Okay, I hope you voted and I hope we all survive tonight. Can someone bring me some chocolate or vodka?